Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use this cute, cool little RSS feed widget in order to embed your announcements on your page. Um, let me first show you. Uh, announcements is right here, and this is what I use to put my work each week. So I'll create a new announcement and type in, usually I put week of whatever. I'll delete this in a minute. Week of whatever, and then whatever you put in here. And you can put hyperlinks, pictures, you know, anything in here. Okay. And then you post it. You just hit save to post it. And so here we go. I've got my post on here. Now back on my main announcements page, there is this little button here. This is the RSS feed button. And in order to embed this stuff on a page, you have to have the RSS feed code. Now one of the things that I think is important is to first be sure that your website for your class is public. So I go to visibility under settings and course details check the top two here, make the syllabus public, and make the course public. Um, and then you want to set your front page. So I have already created a page. I just clicked on the plus sign and made a page. And it doesn't have really anything on it yet. And then it is published. So be sure you publish the page. If the page isn't published, that's a problem. And then you're going to choose, after you make the page, to use it as your front page for the pages. So it doesn't come to this list automatically. So I'm going to click Use as Front Page. That's my front page now. And then once I've done that, back on home, I can choose home page, and I can choose that page's front page. And I just like to do it that way. So now when you click home, it'll show that page's page. All right, now on this page, I want to add that little RSS feed. So to do that, you got to get into your edit box, and then you got to use HTML editor. And here's where you're going to paste the code. So I can put, like, this week's assignments there, or whatever. Well, I'm actually, hold on, I'm not in the right thing. Let me go back and do it this way. Okay, because now there's words in here. All right, so say below this week's assignments in code, I'm going to paste in the code for my RSS feed. So you're going to go to this feed.michael.com, that's e -E com, and decide if you want a certain width or whatever for your widget box. And then this feed we need to put in here. So that's that thing that I told you back on the announcements that you needed to get. So I'm going to go back to the announcements. And then there's the little feed button. Not this one, but this little one. It takes you to this crazy amount of code. You're just going to copy it. Come in here and paste it. And hit add feed. And then whatever's in here should apply. And you'll get a preview. And it doesn't, like, you know, I just posted one, and it doesn't show up yet, because it, they don't show up right away. It's like about a 10 or 15 minute delay, so. Um, anyhow, then there's down here some codes. I have not had good luck with Canvas with this top code box. I usually use this bottom one, the iframe code. So click here for iframe code, and click on it, and then copy it. Then come back over to your page that you're going to put it on, so pages here and edit it and like I said you got to go into the code view and then you'll paste it right here now here's a critical critical thing it does not work right unless right here on this first line where you see source the HTTP has to have an S I don't know why it's not always in there because sometimes it shows up but you have to put that little S so that it says HTTPS feed.michael.com widget you've got to have that it's a secure thing okay once you've got that in here and you hit save, cross your fingers, tap your toes, and there you go. There it helps. Now, if, if yours hasn't updated with your announcements yet, you should at least have the box. You just may not have anything in it. And then whatever you have written in for the whole week will just all show up in this box, and they'll have a scroll bar, and they can scroll through. And if there's details, you know, they can click on it to go straight to that page. So if you have a quiz that they have to take or something like that, you can put it on the page. So that's basically it, and I use this in all my classes. I just have my home page set, and then if somebody comes in, they can see all of this information without necessarily having to log in. The only times my kids absolutely have to log in are going to be if I have an actual assignment in here, um, or if they need certain files, or if they're taking a quiz. So hope that helps, but that's how I have my pages set up.